Hello everyone! Sorry I missed yesterday's upload. I was a little busy seeing the new Thor movie. It was fantastic. I highly recommend you see it if you are into that kind of stuff. It was pretty good. In this video, I am going to be fixing some more of my slime collection, reactivating it or whatever. This one's going to be a little shorter. Um, I've decided to chop it up into multiple shorter segments just because, I don't know, it feels more organized to me. As you've probably noticed, I have changed my name. I am now Crafty Cookie. I just thought that was more relevant to what I do on YouTube. It might not even be a noticeable detail, but um, I got stung on my finger by a bumblebee. He was struggling on the sidewalk and I tried to pick him up and move him into the grass and he didn't like that, uh, so he stung me. So, um... One of my fingers might be fat and swollen compared to the other one, if that's noticeable, even. And I think that's it. So, let's get on with the video. In this video, I'm going to be specifically revisiting my Raspberry Slime Company collection. I'm starting with these two fall-themed slimes, Caramel Apple Fudge. I'm currently reactivating the portion that's supposed to be the caramel sauce. Since this was a clear slime, it needed quite a bit of kneading and not a whole lot of activator because, as I often say, clear slimes are very easy to overactivate, so this one took a lot of time and patience. I didn't mind very much, though, because as it started to come along, the texture became nice and soft and stretchy, and the scent for this is really good. You've probably noticed by now that my silicone mat is very dirty. I've still got some glue stuck onto it, and when the activator drips onto it, it dries up all clear and crusty, which is exactly why I'm not putting the slime directly on the mat in this video. I need to give it a nice thorough cleaning. Anyway, now I'm doing the main apple portion of the slime. It's scented the same as the caramel sauce, which is a really great scent. And if I remember correctly, this is a butter slime. So activating it made the clay in it kind of lumpy at first, but as I kneaded it, it started to soften up and it became so nice and soft. And surprisingly, it made some really good bubble pops too. This was actually the only part of the slime collection I ordered that I kept. I gave the rest to my sisters, and I think the scent had a lot to do with it. The scent to the slime is so good. The others were really good too, there was nothing wrong with them. I think this one was just my favorite. And now to the Christmas portion of the video. These were the first slimes I ever ordered from a shop and the first ones I reviewed on this channel I think two years ago now, and they're not moldy or anything, so they've held up pretty well. This first slime here is called Polar Bear Freeze. It's a blue icy slime scented blue raspberry. Because it's an icy slime, there wasn't a whole lot I could do to revive it. The only issue is that it's really wet, so I think it's okay. The next slime I'm doing is Santa's Magic Key. This was a cloud cream, and apparently it's very bubbly, so that was kind of fun to mess around with. I remember when I first opened it, it was hard for me to identify the scent, and I actually looked up its listing on Etsy afterwards and found that it was a really cool combination of various scents, so that's probably why I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but I decided that it smelled like vanilla yogurt. This slime wasn't really all that bad. It was a little sad and deflated, but the more I played with it, the more lively it became again. Also, I really love the adorable little Santa female slices in it. I think those were a nice touch. It's really nice to realize that you love slimes as much as you did when you first got them, even years later. But yeah, this slime became really nice, really soft, really stretchy, it was really fun to play with, and it was really holdable. It almost felt like cloud dough, but less crumbly, so that was really nice. I think I might even like this slime more now than I did when I first got it. All it really needed was some love and some kneading, and it was good as new, maybe even better. 
This next slime is called Cotton Candy Penguin, and I believe this one was also a cloud cream, and it's cotton candy scented. This one was a little more melted and stringy than Santa's Magic Key, so I'm wondering if one of them wasn't a cloud cream and maybe a sleigh slime or something? I did end up adding a little activator to this because it was starting to get sticky, but once I kneaded that in, it started to take form again, and thankfully the smell wasn't affected. I remember when I first saw this listing, I knew I had to buy this slime because, as I'm sure I've made clear by now, I have a massive penguin obsession and I just can't pass up anything penguin related. The label for the slime and the little penguin femo slices in it are so adorable, and I just think the whole theme and idea of the slime is so cute. The current state of this next slime we're visiting made me so sad. It's Eggnog Milkshake Mrs. Claus's Secret Recipe. The slime started out as a thick and glossy with a clay add-in, and then it became a really nice, soft, smooth, stretchy slime. It had really pretty glitters and one of the best scents I have ever smelled. It smells just like eggnog with a little more spice in it, and I just love the scent. But when I started to play with it, I was really sad to notice that it became a little stiff and rubbery. I am so sick of these containers getting into my shots. The slime also used to make really great bubble pops, and it doesn't anymore, and I'm so sad about that as well. I'd like to have another moment of silence for yet another slime that I once loved that I've lost now. A moment of slimelance, if you will. I will always love this slime. Lastly, we have candy cane ice cream. This was my first ever cloud slime, and it came with these cute little candy cane crumble clay pieces. That was so satisfying to say. I love alliteration. But yeah, this slime was a really nice cloud slime, but as you can see, it has now become very wet and heavy. And now there's even fallout from the instant snow in it. I'm also pretty bummed because the scent faded a little as well. While there's not much I can do about that, to fix the texture, I added in some instant snow that I bought from Slime and Time on Etsy and mixed that in. And I let it sit for a while. Day four. So I checked on it about two or three days after I added in the snow, and as you can see, it didn't fully absorb the snow, it was left in a bunch of wet clumps all over the surface. And when I was stretching it and trying to play with it, I noticed for some reason it became more stiff. I'm not sure why this would happen, if you have any ideas let me know, because I really want to salvage this slime. On the bright side, I did notice that the scent came back a bit stronger, so that was nice. The cloud texture is definitely coming back, I just can't figure out why it didn't come back fully and it stiffened the slime. It also didn't have that nice drizzle that it did in the beginning that most cloud slimes have. But for the most part, I think I did save a good amount of slime, so this wasn't completely pointless. That's gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like what you saw, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!